What's up, everyone? It's your boy, Nolan Rad 89 here. It's time. We are finally here onto the fifth film in the Psycho franchise. This is the last one. It's the remake, and it's the remake of the 1960 original, starring Vince Vaughn, Anne Hayes, Julianne Moore, William H. Macy. So let's get into this film. And of course, we're going to be talking spoilers. So if you haven't seen it, go run out and watch it, and then come back so we can talk about it. So the Psycho remake here we go, and for me, watching this one, this is actually one of the films that I watched. Psycho 2 and 4 were the first time watches for me, and this one was a return watch, but it's been about, I want to say like 8 like eight or 10 years since I've seen this movie, like last time or whatever, and then, oh man, okay. The best way I could describe this movie, right off the bat, like just to describe it in like an analogy is like, you know when you go watch a cover band, if you go see a cover band at a concert and it's like, say it's a cover band of your favorite band and it's like they're playing the same songs and they're playing the songs that took you through your childhood or that you grew up with, but it's still not your favorite band. It's a different singer, it's a different guitarist, a different drummer. That's pretty much what Psycho the remake is. It's uh, basically the same story as the 1961 they update it in certain other ways, which is like the way the people dress certain people like they change their um, like their voices, like in terms of where they're from, the dialect or their accent they have. And like I said, the clothes are updated kind of thing. But it's like a film that just feels weird because they change little nugget things, but everything else is the same. The pacing of the film is pretty much the same. It's basically a shot for shot remake and even the music cues are exactly the same, which is probably my least favorite thing. If I wanted to say my main top negative is that the music cues are all the same and it just feels completely out of place when you have a movie that's modern like this. And they change certain things about it, like they update the $40,000 to $400,000. Like they modernize certain things, but keep everything else the same. And it's like, what the, it, it just feels off putting. It's weird. And add to that, Anne Heche, I don't think is anywhere near as good as Janet Lee in terms of being the main actress and like we're following her for that first 30, 40 minutes. She's nowhere near as entertaining and I don't like the way she plays the character off everything. Like her body language is different and Janet Lee just comes off more confident and just a, a better character version of this character. And then Vince Vaughn is probably the most, I would say, unique out of all the characters. All the other ones are pretty the same, except for Viggo Mortensen. His Sam Loomis is different because of the accent and his the way he dresses. And Vince Vaughn plays it a little different than Anthony Perkins. But I feel like Vince Vaughn's is more just uncomfortable and off-putting. And when you see him, you already feel, even like even though you're going into this film and you already know, oh, Norman Bates is the killer. Like, you know, unless you saw the remake first and this one surprised you, but... I feel like Vince Vaughn comes off more off-putting and just crazy and weird. Like, you know, the first time I saw Anthony Perkins in the 1960 version, he's very, you know, nice and welcoming and handsome and stuff. And Vince Vaughn doesn't come off that way. And there's weird moments in this film, too, where they, like, shorten certain scenes and take dialogue out. Like certain ones, like when Viggo Mortensen confronts Vince Vaughn's Norman Bates and he's talking to him while Julianne Moore goes to check out the house. Like... That scene is cut completely short, the dialogue and everything, and just, just the way that third act wraps up. And then we see Vince Vaughn, like, dressed as his mother, and he comes out. It's nowhere near as effective as when you watch it in that first 1960 film. And like I said, that's in black and white, but it's just the actors, the Alfred Hitchcock directing, the style, cinematography, all that is so much better and superior to this remake. And it's really hard not to compare this to the original, because it is a remake, but it, the, the problem with comparing them, why you want to compare them, is because this one doesn't do enough to be its own thing. And that's the problem, is it just really does try to be exactly like that other one, modernized in certain areas. And the little things they do change is nothing spectacular. It doesn't push the story forward. It doesn't elevate it to a new thing or make it its own unique thing. And that's the problem. Like, it's just a basically a hollow remake. Like, you can't say it's horrible because it's based off of a story that's really good. It's an Alfred Hitchcock classic. So the, the crux of the story is the same. So that's still good. But everything else just feels like hollow. Like I said, my closest analogy I can go with is like when you go see your favorite, like a cover band of your favorite band. It's like, yes, you love the songs. You know the songs 
and all that kind of stuff and they know the music keys but it just doesn't they don't have the same vibe it's not the same singer it's not the same drummer you know that kind of shit that's exactly what this film is like and basically the only character i really like in this in terms of acting is julianne moore i think julianne moore does a great job playing Anne haitia's sister in the film lila she's she's great like i thought her character was amazing but all the other characters i like everybody from the 1961 better so that's like I said that's the main problem with this film is it just does nothing to be really unique or anything like that the core of the story is the same and that's key and that makes it something but everything else is just rings hollow and it's not really like uh like i watched it binged it this time but even watching it this time it didn't change my views of it i feel basically the same way as i did like eight ten years ago when i saw this film so yeah psycho the remake is gonna get a five out of ten for me it's just an average film like i said it's not horrible it's not the worst horror movie or anything like that it's just average and when you watch it you just want to watch the 1961 you're just like oh i need to kind of i need to wash the taste out of my mouth so i'm gonna i'm gonna watch alfred hitchcock's actual classic to get this taste out of my mouth but thanks for sticking around with me, y'all. As we went through the entire Psycho franchise next, we're going to be on to ranking them all against each other. So make sure you stay tuned to the channel. And if you haven't yet, like and subscribe and come back so you can, like I said, check out my other videos and be on when we rank Psycho and put them all against each other. Which one will come out on top? Have a safe and happy day, everyone. Peace out.